What's up everybody? My name is D. This is Near Fall Gaming. We're going to be starting a new series on the Xbox 360 today. We're going to be doing Smackdown vs. Raw 2008 24-7 mode. We're playing as General Manager and we're going to be playing as Smackdown. Let's just get right into it. We're going to be drafting new rosters. We're not using the preset rosters that were already in the game. I got a good idea of who I want. I don't have the best idea necessarily. Um, but we're just gonna roll with it. I uh, going Rey Mysterio first pick. Uh, since we are SmackDown, we gotta keep in mind the fact that we got the cruiserweight division. So Rey Mysterio, uh, it makes me laugh that Shawn Michaels is eligible for the cruiserweight division as well as Edge in this game. But okay then, um, we're gonna sign Rey Mysterio to a nine-month contract. Okay, ECW got. DX, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels in this game. That's not a bad pick, honestly, for them. Um, oof. So, out, out of everybody here, Undertaker's probably my favorite. But I don't necessarily like playing with Undertaker because I don't like deviating from his character too much. And in these SmackDown vs. Raw games, you can't really do a whole lot with his character in my opinion and it's I don't want to just have him at the top or inactive for a couple months at a time uh, just because he gets such a small roster on these games so it's either Edge or Randy Orton Ooh, that's that's a tough one but we're gonna go with Edge just because he's got the higher popularity and I guess we could use him in the cruiserweight division even though I don't plan on it Randy's still there, but you got Bobby and Batista. I gotta go with Bobby Lashley, man. I'd probably say that's the, the better pick. Long term? I, I don't know. You can't really go wrong with Randy Orton. I personally like Randy Orton more than Bobby Lashley, but for this game's sake, I think Bobby Lashley's probably the better play. I have not played uh, 2008 or SmackDown vs. Raw in general uh, a whole lot in so long. Um, so this will be really interesting for me. Obviously, I went and looked at the rosters, made sure my game worked, booted everything up. Uh, so we're all good there. Um, took a look at some of the great wrestlers that I made back in 2009 that were just horrible. But, uh, you know, 14 years ago, it is what it is. But <laughs> anyway. Um, Man, Batista's here. But do I do I want to go with Batista or Booker? I'm gonna go with a King a Booker. We got Batista. We got Elijah Burke, Carlito, Prime Time, R.I.P. Shad, the Nate. Marcus Corvon is actually a tag team with Elijah Burke in this game, so that's an option right there. Plus, Marcus Corvon is just super dope. I wish he got more of a push um, and just stayed in WWE longer, um, but it is what it is. What can you do? I'm trying to get this roster built right now, but I'm getting distracted at the moment, so... I think... Man, Maga's a good pick, too. I did not get Mr. Kennedy, so I'm gonna have to try to trade for Mr. Kennedy, because... Yeah. Mr. Kennedy is just gonna be important to this series, I think. Uh, Marcus Corvon is the three-month contract. Who got Mr. Kennedy? Okay, ECW, third pick. Before Randy Orton, too, that's very interesting. I guess this is, yeah, this has WrestleMania 23 in it, so this is right around the time uh, he was getting that big push, and they were going to, I think, make him a world champion, but then he went, I think, he, I don't remember the order of events exactly, did he get injured and then fail a test, and then just screw things over backstage with Randy and Botch, and then John Cena and Randy Orton basically got him blackballed. Uh, 
but I don't remember if he got injured first. I think he got injured and it wasn't that bad of an injury. <laughs> and it was like falsely diagnosed or something like that. I could be wrong, but um, that's how I remember it. But anyway, got Sabu, Kane, I'm probably not going to go with Crime Time because I don't think I can get both of them at this point. So I know some guys with lower popularity are going to be like my mid-card meet. Like we got Chavo, Gregory Helms, Chris Masters, MVP's not a bad pick in this game. Our boy Willie Riggs, William Regal over there, uh, Bald Snitsky. Bald Snitsky was disgusting <laughs> to me. Like, you know, the Snitsky with the beard and the hair, uh, he was a big scary dude, but he was not disgusting on that level of like human bile. Uh, his teeth were gross and it, it was a good it was a good character for like a couple months on ECW I guess but uh, I, I honestly thought Snitsky wasn't bad somebody that you could kind of keep around and uh, you know have him there maybe be a guy on the roster not necessarily anything special but I, I enjoyed him but they clearly felt otherwise so um, I'm not going to actually roster any women, but I think I might draft a couple, one or two just for their popularity so I can make some trades later on. Um, we're going to see how long, if Kelly Kelly goes, Kelly or Tori go on the next pick that I might pick one. But in the meantime, watch out. Now we're getting into the point where I'm just going to pick the ones that I want. Um, not really worry too much about popularity because I know that in this game you can <laughs> get someone's popularity up very fast. So again, not too worried about that. Um, I think now is the time to go with Tori Wilson. We're on the five week. They drafted Kali. I'm gonna get Kelly Kelly and Get the last 70. They got Chris Masters. Like sons, sons of bitches. Okay. MVP or Gregory Helms? We're gonna go Gregory. Mark Henry, Snitsky, William. William Regal's got such a low popularity. He's going to be on the roster, believe that. But I just got to trade for him first. Snitsky, he's going to be a guy on the roster for at least six months, so I can... I'm okay with that. Gosh, look at that roster size. 14. Um, yeah. Tori Wilson, Kelly Kelly, they're not going to be there. Queen and Dirty. So, eight dirty superstars, six clean, two of which are Kelly Kelly and Tori Wilson that won't be on the roster for very long. So, Chavo, Edge, Helms, we're gonna make Gregory Helms, we're gonna make him a face. We can keep it like that for now. It looks like Edge is our, our main heel. Okay. So we got some main event heels, some main event faces. Bobby Lashley and Rey Mysterio came, can fill in the uh, main event. Uh, okay. Got a decent mid card uh, Nitro Helms, Burke, Chavo. Okay, we're good. I don't know how we're going to have a <laughs> tag team division with 14 guys in the last of it. Um, that's okay. World Heavyweight Championship. I like how I'm suddenly on the ECW roster right now. The interface for the ECW because it's all purple. Should I even assign a World Heavyweight Championship now? I kind of want the popularity boost right off the bat. Actually, 
We're going to go with Edge as the World Heavyweight Champion. We're going to win the United States Championship uh, vacant and the Cruiserweight Championship. <laughs> also to Edge. No, 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 just kidding. We're going to give it to Chavo outright. Uh, get his popularity up a little bit and then we'll determine Tag Team Champions at a later date. Um, I think we are okay there. And then we're able to get started here. Ah, uh, there you are. I'll keep this short and sweet. I'm giving you the opportunity of a lifetime as a general manager here in the WWE. This is where real I mean, men manage yeah, so superstars. And I superstars each make me a legend. Like a, like and that's what I expect from you. To become a master of this business. And that's your responsibility, pal. Not mine. All I can yeah, do is give you the chance. It's up to you to make an impact. As far as so what are you waiting around for? Individual Get going and convince me that like I did make a GM. mistake by hiring you. <laughs> Modes, I suppose. Even though it's not a GM. It's a 24-7 mode, so it's like a career mode before GM. Um, these are the days. Uh, I don't think you can, I still don't think you can create GMs yourself. In the WWE games, based off of, Whoops. <laughs> based off of 2022's... Uh, GM mode. I don't think you could create any GMs, but anyway, safe to say, um, you don't play these these modes for the individual stories as far as the GM goes. The GM mode goes, but our mode, we are going to be playing for the booking and the storylines, and uh, we're not just going to be throwing the same five or six high popularity people in. Uh, table tag team matches every week on SmackDown just for ratings because um, I figured out that that's basically is how you can win this uh, GM mode is just by maxing out your guys fatigue and everything like that and risking injury and we're just gonna try to play a little bit more uh, realistic as far as storylines go um, we're gonna try to uh, have some intricate long-term storytelling hopefully uh, but we're also going to try to get that GM of the Year award for sure. We're not just going to be uh, lollygagging around by any means. We're going to be uh, playing with a goal in mind, and that is to win the GM of the Year. But we want to make it entertaining uh, for not just for myself, but for you guys. Uh, obviously, making storylines can be a lot more interesting for me to play. Uh, it's, but also, I feel like as a viewer, uh, you're going to want to watch something that kind of makes sense throughout uh, if you're going to be watching this all. So, uh, anyway, uh, we should probably get to um, going over the first match card after I do some trades because uh, Tori Wilson and Kale Kelly are not going to stay on this roster. Um, with Kennedy's 73. I believe I can do, yes, I can do events every single day. Um, gosh, these, these images are just bringing it back. And I'm pretty sure that's like a created wrestler. Um, like a preset that you can actually make. I need to get someone's popularity up. Either Tori or Kelly's up to 73. Mr. Oh, I didn't even. Oh, shit. Okay. Didn't even get it. <laughs> uh, so, photo shoot does not work. Website interview, press conference, trophy date. Okay, so you can't do. What? Can you not do females or can you not do two events? Okay, so female, you can't send females out on dates because they weren't prepared. I would can only assume that they were not prepared to change this graphic to where it was females with females. Like Tori Wilson going on a date with Tori Wilson. That'd be interesting. But that'd be something I'd... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, anyway, um, we're going to do a website interview. 
higher popularity than Mr. Kennedy now, so I can get Mr. Kennedy. Let's see here. 75. 74. ECW doesn't even have a women's division, but let's see. Oh, okay. All right, you figure out the algorithm, and then you can pretty much do what you want. Uh, let's see here. He's got William Reeves is a 51. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Uh, Kelly Kelly, Chris Masters, and Kenny Dykstra. Let's do it. Let's go. Extreme Expose is back at ECW. <laughs> they got Kelly Kelly and Tori Wilson. You know, that from an entertainment standpoint, that's not the worst decision. Um, me personally, I, ha I have no women's division on this game, so I don't need them. Um, I can't do anything interesting with them. I can put them in storylines, but uh, I would prefer to have a full roster, if it's going to be so limited, to have a roster that I can really kind of, everyone can have a storyline with everyone if need be um not saying that that's going to happen but i just don't want to add more restrictions to myself uh that i don't have to that are already there basically basically with a small roster 14 man roster i guess now a 15 man roster i can i can fill out a power 15 um oh power 15 okay i can't fill out a power Oh, it's because Booker and Tori are a tag team. I'm glad I got rid of that. Kelly Kelly's still on the roster. I'm gonna split those two up. I am, I don't remember that ever being a thing. Um, Elijah Burke and Marcus Corvon, I knew that was gonna be a thing, but I didn't actually realize it at the time. Undertaker, Intercon Intercontinental Champion in 2007, that makes sense. Uh, John Cena, Tag Team Champion, Imagen, WWE Champion, John Cena and Jeff Hardy, Tag Team together. Um, not really seeing the direction there by Raw, but I don't think there is any direction on the AI's part uh, when it comes to that. So we got to crown a United States Champion, and we got to crown a Tag Team Champion. Chavo's Cruiserweight and Edge is World Heavyweight Championship. Or Edge is World Heavyweight Champion, excuse me. Uh, so one thing that is definitely going on. Is going to be uh, a number one contendership tournament uh, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, we got Backlash in seven. We got seven SmackDowns. Until Backlash, or not Backlash, Judgment Day, excuse me. Uh, and then the winner of that number one contendership tournament will face Edge at Judgment Day. And it's going to be an eight man tournament. We're actually going to throw up a graphic right now. Uh, so you'll be able to see everyone who is involved. Uh, and we're going to get the match card built um, for this next SmackDown, and then we're going to call it an episode, and we're going to pick up. Uh, for the first SmackDown um, for episode two. And then, uh, so we got one more day. We're gonna just make sure our roster's all good. Maybe take a look at contracts now that we've got uh, the bulk of our initial money being spent. Um, money ain't a thing in this game. Make sure our uh, difficulties are where they want them to be, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, get into the meat and potatoes uh, episode two and have our first episode uh, with actual um, SmackDown content. So, in, in anyway, <laughs> I cannot speak right now, please excuse me. Um, but uh, we're gonna finish up this last one uh, just with some more popularity boost. Um, we're gonna actually take a look at the roster first and probably do Popularity boost with some one of these guys in the lower bracket. You know, Gregory Holmes can use it. Chris Masters, 
Um, MVP, Jeremy Nitro, Java. Java's got the temporary boost. Adams is up to 85. Brady's still at 83. Bob Lash is at 6. Okay, decent starting point. We got Mr. Kennedy, so that's going to be big. I actually may want to. He's got, oh, he's got fatigue because he appeared in ECW just to, just like talk some shit, basically. He's like, um, I don't deserve to be on ECW. I'm too good for ECW. I'm bouncing. I uh, maybe got hit by uh, Sandman with like a kendo stick or some shit like that. Um, but anyway, he's on SmackDown now. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Gregory Howard. Difficulty hard. I'm gonna keep the subtitles on. Email attention. I don't care about that. We'll simulate training because who wants to do that? Blank match card. Rerun. Rerun. No, thank you. Injuries. Do injuries on, but morale off. How about that? Is that fair? Because morale is a stupid concept in a predetermined booking situation. <laughs> I mean, I understand, but this is still a video game. Uh, title on. I'm not sure what that means, but I like it. Rival language on. Cost on. Trades on. Yeah. Alright, I think we're good to go uh, to start booking week one. Alright, so our first match of the night is going to be a tag team match. Uh, just kind of open up the tag team division, see what we got. <clears throat> Only eight guys are in the number one contendership tournament. Uh, so there are a handful of other fellas, uh, probably about five of them, unfortunately. Wow, man, that hurts when we say it like that. I think actually six. Um, but uh, anyway, there are other guys that want to get their hands on some gold. They need uh, some stuff to do, basically. Um, it's not just the World Heavyweight Championship on SmackDown. We still got the United States Championship, the Tag Team Championships, and of course, uh, the Cruiserweight Championships. So, it's going to open up Marcus Corvon and Elijah Burke versus Gregory Helms and Kenny Dykstra in a tag team match. And then the next match, which is a part of the number one contendership tournament, uh, is going to be Kane versus MVP. Um, you saw, I did want to note, uh, you saw that Elijah Burke is involved in the number one contendership tournament. Uh, his match will be next week, so he's got that tag team match tonight. Uh, we'll do the promos in a second. Uh, match number three is not a part of the uh, contendership tournament. It's just a cruiserweight uh, division match, technically. Uh, Chavo Guerrero, the champion, uh, taking on Johnny Nitro. Uh, match number four, uh, Rey Mysterio versus a mystery opponent. Uh, King Booker uh, basically approaches Rey Mysterio backstage. Uh, he says, hey, I know uh, we got each other next week, um, but you are in action tonight as King's Decree, uh, and you are going to be facing an opponent of my choice. Rey Mysterio doesn't know who it is until that opponent comes out, but you're going to find out because you're watching me book it, um, and that opponent is going to be Snitsky. Uh, no affiliation with Snitsky or King Booker. Um, they're not necessarily working together. Uh, Snitsky is just an Ugly, ugly man, and King Booker wants Rey Mysterio to take on uh, that ugly man. So that's our match number four, and then our main event uh, is going to be a <clears throat> uh, part of the number one contendership tournament. Uh, it's going to be between Bobby Lashley and uh, Mr. Ken Kennedy, and it's actually going to be a steel cage match. And here's how it becomes a steel cage match. So basically, uh, Throughout the night, um, there are 
little, little clips of Mr. Kennedy uh, backstage, you know, talking his shit, uh, doing his thing, uh, talking about how he came from ECW, uh, uh, how he refused to work there, and how he's going to take over SmackDown, become World Heavyweight Champion, um, and tonight is just uh, step one of that whole plan. Um, Bobby Lashley, uh, you know, he eventually confronts him after like the, the during like the fourth segment backstage and says, I've been hearing you talk all night. Um, you know, you're going to get your ass beat. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you say. Uh, if you're so confident, how about we make it a steel cage match? Uh, Mr. Kennedy, um, he was like, yeah, nah. Uh, he starts making up these excuses. He says he never agreed to that. Um, he doesn't want to... Uh, jeopardize his health for the rest of the tournament, you know, all that uh, heel coward bullshit, but then uh, the, our GM, who is a face GM in this scenario, uh, GM shows up, uh, third person in the frame, he's like, actually, uh, Bobby, you know, that's a good idea, um, I like the sound of that, plus, you know, we gotta spice up, spice it up, it's the first episode of the season, uh, the first episode of SmackDown, uh, we gotta have a big main event. We don't even have our world heavyweight champion uh, on the card, so we are going to make this a steel cage match. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, <coughs> not happy about it. Um, Bobby Lashley, uh, he kind of just walks away nodding, um, and he's very pleased with what happened. So that is going to be it for our week one. It's all booked up. We gotta get our promos going. Uh, this is the only time we'll have this new superstar opportunity. So we should probably use it to boost some guys. Snitsky's the only 50 remaining on the roster, so that's cool. Uh, and we'll go get into it on the next episode, but we do have a plan or two to uh, increase this roster size. So, um, because 15 guys, you know, we can make it work, but it's... With a five match card every week, uh, plus a like what six pay per views, maybe eight pay per views technically with the uh, merged ones. Uh, but like 15, 15 guys is just not a big enough roster to you know do interesting things or keep it fresh or stuff like that. So we're definitely going to figure out something to do about these rosters. And uh, it's not going to be cheese too hard either, in my opinion. So, anyway, we got to get these uh, popularities up because Chavo, if he loses, if and when he loses his Cruiserweight Championship, he's going to be a sub-60 for sure. Uh, King Booker uh, deserves to be higher than 74. Um, he's kind of that main event level, so he needs to be higher than 74. So, we'll do that. We're not going to lock it yet because <laughs> locking it has not been good for us in the past. Just, just, I'm not going to get into it, but just know that. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's going to be it for our, our first episode, guys. Thanks for uh, making it through the draft. Uh, we'll just open up our roster one more time just for something for you guys to look at uh, as we close it out. But um, if you made it through this long, maybe consider uh, subscribing to the channel, giving the video a like. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, it is much appreciated, and I'm looking forward to the second episode. Hopefully you are too, and we'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.